Yes. How are you? Good. Good. No, no, not really good. So it, it'll turn out. It'll turn over when I press the start button. It's almost on the break. The lights will come on and everything, and then it just, it just doesn't, it doesn't turn over. I don't know she said it's like, it was, lights all come on, but it won't crank, it won't turn on. Okay, so, so it's... Put the key in the, um, put the key in the console on the, um, with that, the, so it can detect that I have the key, and I have a new battery in it and everything, and, um, it won't even crank after I do that. I had, a, I stopped at the school the other day when I, when I was taking my kids to drop them off at school, it just completely shut off on me in car ride line. Oh, wow. that stop go thing you know okay and it shut off on me and they called the tail mechanic and he came in and he couldn't get it started with the, he said he couldn't get the battery to turn over like he couldn't even get it connected to the battery and he couldn't get it to start by doing that but he went underneath the car and he started he had a metal pole and he was banging on something and then he said okay start it and it started right up so the engine stalled when you were in the car rider line yes and then it didn't crank over at all. It wouldn't. It wouldn't restart. It wouldn't. the The starter wouldn't make any noise when you try to start it. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Oh, all right. And then the guy hit it from underneath the car with this big metal pole, and then he's like, "Okay, try it now." And I turned it on, and it started immediately. Okay. I just want to know when you hit it at from underneath my car, so I can do that because I have the like I'm I'm seeing a mechanic later today for it. Mm -hmm. I just need to get it there. Well, normally my experience has been, you know, if you, if you tap on the starter, if the starter's starting to go bad, it'll, 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 you know, the, the armature and the inside of the starter can, can, can loosen up. It'll start working. Um, however, the starter motor itself won't cause the engine to stall. So you might want to find out, you might want to ask him what he was, you know, trying to hit and, if it was the starter and if it did start because he had tapped the starter with his pole, then you have two separate issues. You have the starter issue and then you have the stalling issue. Cause again, the starter is not going to cause the engine to stall. So, um, <clears throat> right. Is this is a V six engine? Okay. All right. Do you know if there's any codes in the computer? Um, they said it was the purge valve. Um, okay. Something the purge valve that I needed to have replaced on it. Okay. So actually, I was putting that. They're putting that on my car later today. But oh. even he said that won't cause it to not to cut off. Okay. That is correct. Yeah, the purge valve is just for the evaporative emissions, so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, right now, does the engine, the engine cranks over and it doesn't start or it doesn't crank over at all? It, like, it will, it will, like, when you press the button, like, all the lights come on and it does that and then it just, and the da all the lights stay on and that's it. But the engine won't turn. No okay. come. Like, I can hear it, like, I can hear it. When I press my brake all the way down, I can hear it going, do, 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 try to start. Has he checked the battery? Um... Would the lights all come on if it was the battery? Um, it can, yeah. Uh, when you say it was, it was, it was going do to do, and it wasn't. It was it clicking or was the engine actually cranking? It was clicking. Clicking or crank? I'm sorry. It all the way down. Yeah, it was crank. It was clicking. It was going like that. It was taking. If it was clicking, well, then we probably have a bad starter or a bad, I'm sorry, a bad battery. Okay. When was the last time the battery was replaced? Two years. Okay. Batteries on average only last five years and they can go bad well before five years. So um, clicking is, is almost always low voltage. All right. Now relays will click and that's what they, that's what they do um, when they, when they go on and off, but <laughs> they only, if it's not starting, it's clicking. The, the starter itself could click because of low voltage or relays could click if the engine's not starting because of low voltage. Again, this could be a, um, it could be a bad battery. It could be a, the battery could, could may not be the problem. It could be a bad connection at the battery. It could be a bad fuse block or a faulty or insufficient engine or frame ground. But before we get into, you know, chasing really, you know, hard to diagnose electrical problems, it would be really, it would be silly not to check that battery. So that, that should be done first.
right, I'll check the battery. Thank you so much for helping me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Any other questions while we're on the phone? No, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to just go and get I remember batteries were like seventy five dollars, and now they're like three hundred. I know, isn't that insane? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you so much. You have a great day. All right, you're welcome. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh,